again, an opportunity for us to learn from those health professionals when I was in the ICU unit, we're finding out that people, are, in fact, are delaying uh, getting health care uh, that they need to have, whether it's elective surgery or treatments at the hospital, because they're afraid to go there, because that's where COVID-19 patients are housed. And somehow they feel like that's maybe a, not a safe environment. And so uh, in order to, to maybe help us answer some of those questions, we've asked Dr. Mark uh, Breesocker, who is the Intermountain Healthcare's Chief Physician Executive, to talk about uh, hospital capacity, what we're doing in the intensive care units, how that impacts, uh, is being impacted by COVID-19, and uh, the opportunities that we have for those who need health care at the hospital, uh, whether they should be afraid, concerned, or whether they should take advantage of the opportunity to go in now. So, Dr. Breesocker, if you'll come forward. Governor Herbert, thank you uh, for your leadership during this pandemic, and, uh, you know, thank you. I'm, we're grateful for the opportunity to be here today and to talk about this, and uh, so uh, let's, let's just get right to it. So, first, it's important to know that our hospitals and clinics are safe and they are ready for anything, any healthcare need that you have. Uh, through the leadership of the Utah Hospital Association and their collaboration with my colleagues in our, with hospitals across this state, I know that's true of their hospitals as well. We have in place processes that are designed to keep you and your family safe and designed to keep our caregivers safe. So when you present to our clinics and, or you present to our emergency department, we screen you and if there is the potential that you have COVID-19, you're moved into a specific area. If you're presenting for other things like you're having heart symptoms or stroke symptoms or other emergencies, then you're moved to a different area and cared for in that area. All of our caregivers take all the precautions you see across the state. We wear masks, shields, we gown up, we have specific devices uh, that purify the air and, and helps keep them safe and it help, helps keep you, your families, patients safe as well. Additionally, you know, as medical services have increased across the state, uh, we're, we continue to take important precautions. So extra cleaning, extra testing before procedures to make sure that you don't have COVID-19. Uh, we have had to rest uh, restrict visitors uh, for some time, and that's part of it as well, is to keep patients safe and caregivers safe. And we'll continue to do those things. I think the second key message here is that it's really important that you don't delay care. It's important for your health. It's important for our community's health. And delays in care can actually be life-threatening. If you're due for a skin cancer screening, breast cancer screening, colon cancer screening, please go and get that done. If you have diabetes, if you have heart disease, if you have any other type of medical condition, please check in with your provider and make sure that the plan you have is the right one today. Make sure that the medications you're taking are doing the right things for you and that you're not having any side effects from them. We've seen a decrease in the number of people who present to our hospitals with emergent and life-threatening conditions, and this actually is true across the country. The national study found that there's been a 40% reduction in the number of patients presenting to have stroke symptoms assessed and treated. There's been a 35% reduction in the number of patients presenting with symptoms of heart attack. And in these conditions, every minute counts. So please, our hospitals are safe. We're ready to care for you. Don't delay care for these life-threatening conditions. There have been many great stories about healthcare workers and teams during the pandemic. And there's also been some sad stories a lot of sad stories, and some of them have been related to the delay in care that people chose to do because they were worried. And those are the stories that we can avoid. So please come and see us if you have concerns. You know, the last thing that I, I wanna share is I just wanna join Governor Herbert and 
double down on our continued need to mask, to remain socially distanced, to wash hands together. Our efforts together as a community, it's making a difference. The number, the seven day average number, it's just great to see that number coming down. And that's leadership from the state, and it's your individual actions and decisions, the care you're showing for your neighbors and friends in the community, that's making the difference here. You know, community health is what we need to have so that our, that our communities can grow, can continue to care for each other, can be hardworking, industrious. So let's stick together and let's keep focusing on masking, hand washing, and social distancing. So three things. It is safe to get care in our clinics and hospitals. Please do not delay care that you need. It makes a difference in your health and well-being. And please keep masking, hand washing, and social distancing. Governor, that's all I have. Thank you.